Well, the second evening of interviews by the Superintendent Screening Committee is over. Tonight we heard from Janie Ortega, who's an Assistant Superintendent in Boston, and Wendy Jack, who is the direct Director of Curriculum at Lowell High School. Uh, Janie Ortega is a resident, uh, is a native of Texas. She went to school at uh, in Texas. She received her doctorate from the University of Texas, and she was a teacher and an administrator there. She came to Massachusetts 10 years ago, to Bo directly to Boston, and she was recruited to serve as a principal in an underperforming school. The school, uh, within three years, made a significant turnaround, and she was promoted to become an assistant superintendent of the Boston Public Schools, uh, and she and a deputy superintendent are uh, supervise 45 schools, uh, all of them are K-12. to uh, Dr. Ortega was very conversant with the Massachusetts educational lingo, with MCAS scores. Uh, she talked quite a bit about uh, the importance of professional development and of uh, different curriculum systems that are in place. Uh, I thought this was noteworthy. She talked about the delivery of discipline. She said, I would need to become familiar with very specific and unique needs of each of the schools, consult with the principals. Uh, but I'd have to find things that are in common to all of these schools, things like attendance, discipline rates, etc. cetera. Um, we never evaluate programs. We bring in a program, decide that it's not working, but we fail to determine why. And she said, I love to talk about assessment. Uh, Dr. Ortega certainly does not lack experience in an uh, urban school setting. Uh, that came through very clearly in her interview. And here's a short clip of Dr. Ortega uh, speaking to the interview committee tonight. You know, I think the most important thing is that um, parents need to be heard and they need to know that the door is open uh, to have those kinds of conversations when they do need to be heard. And that's at the district level and it's at the school level. I think that's important. I think communication with parents needs to be very transparent. They need to know what, what we're doing, why we're doing it. Uh, how is that going to uh, make the classroom better? How is that going to make their students learning better? So we, we need to be very open and honest about what we're doing. I believe very strongly in having uh, parent-teacher conferences uh, twice a year. Um, we now have that in our contract in Boston. Uh, when I was at the Donald McKay as a principal, it was one of the things that I negotiated with my teachers. Um, rather than have it just on back to school night and have parents standing in line uh, trying to have a, a conversation about their student, uh, we began to have them in the fall um, for 30 minutes um, and teachers scheduled them You know, whenever parents were available and we have to be very, um, you know, aware that there are parents that work uh, during the day, during the time that we're in school. Some of them in the community that I worked in, which was a, in East Boston, which is a very uh, highly populated um, area of Boston with uh, Hispanic uh, Latinos. And um, some of them have two jobs, some of them have three jobs. So we have to be uh, trying to meet them when they can meet. So it's one of the things I negotiated with my teachers and it worked out very well. We really uh, got very close to 100% of uh, our parents having conferences. Tonight's second interview was of Wendy Jack, who is the Director of Curriculum at Lowell High School. Uh, Dr. Jack is a native of Methuen, Massachusetts, um, and then she, uh, although she has her doctorate from Vanderbilt, which is in Tennessee. She has spent her entire life in public education. She uh, was in Manchester, New Hampshire for a significant amount of time, working there as an assistant superintendent, ultimately. Uh, and so she gained some administrative experience in the, the, front o the central office setting in Manchester. She left Manchester and went to Hudson, New Hampshire, but she said she only stayed there for one year because she realized that as nice as it was in Hudson, that her heart was really in an urban community. And that's when she took the job as the English department chair at Lowell High School about 11 years ago. She spent several years as the chair of the, or the head of the English department, and then she uh, moved to her new job, which is director of curriculum. 
I think uh, Wendy Jack uh, had two things that she made very clear. One is she uh, firmly believes that reading and literacy are really the foundations of all instruction, that if a child uh, can't read, a child is not going to do well in all seven periods of the day, not just in the one devoted specifically to reading. The other thing she talked about uh, repeatedly was the type of cultural awareness she's gained of the the varied and diverse student body at Lowell High School and the uh, the impact that the cultural factors bring into the school, whether it's discipline, attendance, or performance. Uh, she said it's really important for educators to understand the... Um, the situation that students come out of, that, that some students uh, have just uh, poverty is uh, what's holding them back. Others have uh, recent arrivals in this country and they've just come from, from uh, war zones or other very trying circumstances and that this uh, kind of psychic baggage that they bring with them plays a big part in the way they behave and perform in the school system. And it's not until the uh, educators, the teachers, and the administrators understand all this background information that they can begin effectively addressing the problems and assisting the students. Um, so here's a short, uh, short clip of Dr. Wendy Jack at tonight's interview. And now we come to that portion of the uh, interview where you have an opportunity to tell us um, whatever you would like for the next book. I, I did prepare just a couple of thoughts on this because I was hoping that, that at the end you would you would let me do this. So I there there are I guess what I'm going to do is talk about a few points why I think that I would I would love to have this job and why I think I should. And I I guess I'd stop by saying every new superintendent that comes to a to a new position wants to leave that district in better shape than it began. And what I mean by that, you could go into any district you want, and that district could be in great shape when you start there, but there's always a way to move it ahead. So every, that has to be the goal of every new superintendent, is to, is to move uh, the district ahead. And I say that because I think, I hope I'm in a position to do that. I think I am because I think I'm, actively involved and have even developed myself many of the programs that we've talked about tonight that are in my opinion moving us ahead just referencing the partnerships as an example the vertical teams the the low latin lyceum uh, as an example um, and i think because of of my knowledge and my sincere investment i think in these initiatives i think i hope that i'm the person that that can move the district to the next level. That would be my first point. And then the final point that I want to make is, I just want to say, I have submitted one application for a superintendency, and it's in Lowell. I have not submitted an application in another district. I want to be your superintendent, not a superintendent. So I I hope that I'm chosen. I'm, I want to be here. Uh, I'm very loyal to this city. Um, I brought my son here. I brought my son out of the New Hampshire public schools and he came to Lowell uh, in the 10th grade and had an excellent experience here. He'll be finishing up his degree at UMass Lowell. And uh, he's a wonderful ambassador for the city, but I, I mention that because I think it just speaks to my loyalty to the city. Very loyal to Lowell. Um, if you choose me as your superintendent, you have my word that I will do everything I can to uh, address all the interests of the community, of the business partners, the university, Middlesex Community College, most importantly, the interests of our students. 